Understanding passenger movement patterns and dwell times helps airports improve passenger experience and streamline operations. In fact, we already have one airport that's experimenting with this concept. Copenhagen Airport in Denmark is using wireless location tracking to measure and optimize this dynamic ebb and flow of humanity, and the passengers don't have to do anything different. Another use case I'm excited about is where travelers can use their smartphones as a virtual reality viewer to provide navigation self-help. How is this happening indoors of all places? As it turns out, so many of us have our Wi-Fi turned on with at least one of the devices that we carry. That signal can be triangulated and used to provide valuable services for us and the airport itself. It may be time to rethink what your wireless network is doing for you. How they do this. And how you can do even more. Well, that's next. Cisco's approach to wireless redefined the market as we took spectrum analysis from being a reactive, expensive tool used on a sporadic basis to an integrated function of the network itself. Clean Air gave us new insight to the RF airspace, but that's not the entire story. We want to introduce you to the Cisco 3300 Series Mobility Services Engine. It's literally the missing link for taking your wireless network from an expense to be managed to a service you can maximize. Yeah, right, Rob. You know, the MSE forms a mobility services layer consolidating intelligence from the entire network, giving you a new set of capabilities across the wireless and the wired network. It's a new layer of network functionality where benefits stem not from being some kind of middleware bound to an application, but a set of accessible mobility services, fully extensible through an open SOAP XML-based API. Let's look at three key areas you need to understand. How MSE supercharges clean air, the real value of contextual awareness, and security that lets you sleep at night. Clean air is the not-so-secret ingredient for quite a few things we love about Cisco Wireless the air quality measurements, and response actions that give us that self-healing we all love. But there is an ingredient you may not realize that is the key to almost everything. It's a Cisco Mobility Services Engine. Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City ranks among the nation's best. And as with any large hospital, the campus has many potential sources of interference, especially in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band where the nurse call system operates. Clean Air was deployed to identify issues and remotely isolate interference as it occurs. Well, not long after deployment, the system picked up on an intermittent burst of interference that was trashing the spectrum at short random intervals day and night. The forensic capabilities of Clean Air led them to a city bus stop just outside the main building. Well, it turns out that bus drivers have a wireless transmitter to control the stoplights whenever they're running late. And this thing was wreaking havoc on the network and its intermittent nature made it ideal for Clean Air. Sherlock Holmes would have been proud. Good story, but that's just clean air. And there's so much more when we add the MSC. Our visibility gets even richer. We get event correlation, which gets rid of those time-wasting redundant events, especially when you're using multiple wireless controllers. And we even get historical details with the ability to replay the event. This helps us to establish exactly what happened at that certain moment of time. All this is so well presented and so easy to interact with. This area here, in fact, highlights our zone of impact, or as I like to call it, a picture of what I care about. It reminds me of my first HD TV. Going from standard to high definition meant no turning back. But once again, this is just a baseline. You can also capture and correlate other bits of useful data like temperature, presence, restricted zones, and so much more. This is what we call contextual awareness. Let's walk through an example. Two users call into the help desk and they're reporting that they're in building A on the first floor and having trouble connecting to the wireless LAN. Without MSC, the help desk can conclude that it's an infrastructure problem, escalate the cases, an RF engineer gets dispatched. It's straightforward, expensive. Now, the same situation with MSE. Help Desk has all the visibility tools. So they get the user ID, pull up the location of the users, see that there are several other devices connecting from the same area to two APs and no one else is reporting trouble. So instead of escalating or dispatching an RF engineer, the Help Desk can focus on debugging the two client devices and resolve the right issue. All this rich data is not marooned inside the box either. It can be made available to any business application that needs it. This is done through the Context Aware Mobility API, which is based on SOAP and XML protocols. 
Man, there is so much you can do with this. One of my favorite examples is around indoor navigation. There's a Portland company called Spotlight Mobile that developed a mobile app with drag and drop simplicity, allowing any size operation to create interactive, location enhanced maps of their facility. MSE is that link that through the API is making these innovative things possible. As an example, the American Museum of Natural History is using it to drive a unique experience with turn-by-turn -turn directions, interactive information, customized tours complete with multimedia options, or help you answer that question, where's the food court? What could you be doing to set your business apart? You're only limited by your imagination. We've covered MSC Supercharging Clean Air, Contextual Awareness, and the API. Let's get into security. Is there ever a wireless discussion that does not include security? <laughs> the MSC offers Adaptive Wireless IPS, or AWIPS. This is a comprehensive over-the-air attack detection and mitigation. And of course, you get comprehensive rogue detection, location, and containment with our wireless controllers and MSC with Context Aware. Wireless threats can be categorized into three types of attacks on wire, over the air, and non-802.11. On wire attacks include rogue APs and ad hoc wireless bridges. Now a rogue AP is simply just an unsanctioned access point providing wireless access to the wired network. Of course, these can range from the unwitting employee plugging a personal device into the network to a seasoned hacker planning that AP for just a little bit later access into your network. Over-the-air attacks include the broadest category of real threats and include man-in-the-middle style attacks where a device poses a legitimate access point and then sniffs the sensitive traffic as it passes on by. Reconnaissance and cracking threats round out the list here with tools that range from legitimate configuration mapping used for nefarious purposes to deciphering wireless traffic both on the fly and even offline. Non-802.11 attacks have to be considered as well. Technologies such as Bluetooth are using the same spectrum, so they can not only interfere, they can also be used as a rogue AP. Adaptive wireless intrusion prevention can be a lifesaver. Historically, customers had to choose whether APs were deployed in a mode that served data or monitored for threats. Well, this Hobson's choice is no longer an issue with ELM, Enhanced Local Mode. ELM provides the best on-channel protection using data serving access points. But for those customers who want full spectrum detection with the fastest detection times, you can go with monitor mode APs with adaptive whips, no problem. So what can Cisco Wireless and the Mobility Service Engine do to accelerate your business? To get you started, Cisco's created a couple of very attractive MSE starter packs that can give you all the context, analysis, and security that you may have been missing. Just follow the link here for more details.